We are in the entertainment capital of the world here in Las Vegas, Nevada for EA Sports where the Golden Knights are ready to take to the ice. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Rangers win the draw and they'll start on the attack. New York's got him along the wall. Petrangelo's taking it from his own end. Great hook by Wheeler. New York's got to hold him up along the wall. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. He grabs the puck here on the point. Denies that opportunity. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Eichel's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Wheeler's lugging the puck. Now a quick pass to Panarin. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. And now it's grabbed by Theodore. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Puck scooped up by Stone. Intercepts the pass at center. Quick pass to Stevenson. The Rangers take possession in the defensive end. From the right side, takes the pass. Quick feed to Stevenson. Receives the pass. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Shesterkin. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning and for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible and everyone knows he's athletic to boot. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come up along the wing. Here we go, puck's in deep. Slides the puck to Carlson. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Cuts into the paint. Oh, a clutch save. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Shesterkin's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Shesterkin's known for his butterfly effect zone ability, guys, which is that mobility while in the butterfly position to stay with the play and deliver big stops. Bonino's won the faceoff, and he loses control of the puck. Oh, the poke check! What a read by the goaltender! Picked up along the wall by Lafreniere. Schneider's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And that's a great hits up play by Pulsar. New York's regained possession of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kudrow. Made the stop on the play. Slides it to Roth. Takes the shot. Underway. The Golden Knights will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Score! Well, what's the old saying, partner? Better late than never. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're talking about right now. He would have wanted this a while ago, James, but it didn't work out for him. Any number of chances he couldn't cash in. So this one tonight, it feels great. Well, there's so much emphasis on winning faceoff, James, and this is why you get possession and you get enough opportunity quick off the draw. Vegas has finally capitalized on their opportunity and take a 1-0 lead. They take the 1-0 lead and they've been persistent and that's why they get it. They've been driving play in particular in the latter half of this period and they finally cash in. Love is them with the hit. Vegas gains a hold of possession. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Vegas will play the puck behind the net. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. The goalies really like to stick it to their opponents and give them the stare down after a flashy glove save that hits the leather. Unfortunately, 
that he gets embarrassed this time as he gets beat clean. The Golden Knights are now up by two, and they have really looked like the dominant team that we expected them to be here in this opening frame. Yeah, they dictated pace right from puck drop, and they've held possession, and it's the reason why they have a majority of shots on goal, and they've been rewarded for their efforts, James. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. and they were able to execute because they weren't afraid to drive the paint. The challenge will be to replicate that 20 minutes and really bring it in the second. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Loses his balance on the play. Moves inside! Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Man, is he ever known for this. When he drops into that butterfly positioning, he makes himself as big as possible. So tough to beat because there is no net available. For the right wing, he moves into the middle. Here he is on the back end. He scores! Stone Cold Mark Stone! Well, he's got a lethal combination, James. He's got that low center of gravity and core strength. And then, of course, he's got the sixth skill to make something happen with the puck on his stick. He does just that. He's able to withstand the jostle and the battle and finds a way to make a great distribution for a goal. The Golden Knights extend the lead to three goals. They have been a dominant squad tonight. Just look at the puck possession numbers, James. I mean, they have dominated in there, that area, and the opponent just chasing the game. They've been connected all over the ice, giving option to the puck carrier. And you know, the back end as well, they're moving it quickly. When you know that you're moving forth in all three zones really fast, you're driving and attacking the net. Stevenson's going off for cross-checking. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. And a strong effort on that play. Thompson's made a nice stop there, and that can be difficult to do, James. I mean, sometimes you get cold or you get lulled into a game where you've been in the offensive zone most of the time. So it's often about timely saves that makes the difference. Made the save on the play. Slick feed. And now he moves it quickly to Kako. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. He got all of that hit. Moves it to Petrangelo. The Rangers come up empty handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. An effective PK, you have to read, be aggressive on those reads. And look what happens, they get a ton of shots on net. A blast! Steps in front of it for the block. Picked off by Houghton. The Golden Knights have picked up yet another pass, James. This is incredible. They dominated play all night long. They're all over the place. And they know exactly where to be at the right time to shut it down. Throws it in. Tries to get it over to Carlson. Vegas plays the puck along the boards. Denies him! Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've got four in a row.
just looks like a completely different team tonight the way they played offensively. Well, they've had the puck the majority of the game, and when they have it, they've got quick, close support for someone to move it to right away, and that's what's opening up lanes and giving them an opportunity to attack. Taken along the wall by Cooley. The Golden Knights take over on possession. Stevenson's going to play it against the half wall. Fantastic save! Quick's movements are outstanding. I mean, he gets to position so quick. He's athletic and he makes a huge save from the slot. Harper's got the puck in his own zone. New York's on the attack. And he slides it quickly to PC. And that's blocked from someone in front. Hammers it on now. Oh, oh. And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable or... Is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. Listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build out that last shift. The Rangers finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been out-battled, they've been out-scored, and they've just been out-played this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. New York's got control of the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Across the line and on the attack. All alone! And that goes off a player. Slides it across to Panera. Things going down with the puck. The Rangers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Can it maintain possession? Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. signals both teams into position. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Golden Knights have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Quick. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Sabinajad's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Rangers win the defensive zone faceoff. Kreider's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, and he whips on it. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. Wheeler's stick handling in his own zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by McNabb. The Golden Knights have been the better team tonight by far. I mean, this is coming right off of without the puck. They know when to close, they know how to intercept, and it's all because of their awareness and stems from their positioning. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They got to be better. And I'm not sure. Look at this! Tremendous play to block that. Vegas looks to break out in their own end. Shot! Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Carlson's going to try and shake that one off, James. Man, that was a tough hit right through the body, and you feel the effects of almost bone crushing when he gets back up. Vegas.
Vegas has been impressive to watch tonight. Numerous scoring opportunities, and they have converted on most of them. The Golden Knights win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Quick shot. Big save in front. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Vegas moves ahead with the puck. Great reach with the poke check by Gustafson. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Golden Knights have it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Golden Knights are playing against the wall. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. The Rangers play it along the way. With the stop. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just cheering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. The Rangers send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, game possession so they can set up. Vegas with a big defensive zone face-off. Puck grab by Houghton. Fires it, and that's deflected off someone in front. Here's a short pass to Goodrow. Here they come through, center it into the offensive end. And he's ridden off the puck. Sends the pass down low. Quick pass to Gustafson. Takes that pass back to the point. Great read on the block. Makes his presence known on the ice. Slides the puck across to Goodrow. Penalty coming up. There's the whistle, and here's the call. This is a frustrating situation. James just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. and they're anticipating, they're shutting down so quickly and retrieving pucks. When you have that ability to intercept and go the other way, you're a deadly team. Vegas is all smiles on the bench tonight where almost everything they put on net seems to go in. And they lead big time here in this third. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Break away! Just an easy pass saved made by Cook. The Rangers have it now. Moves the puck to Kako. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Vegas gets the puck near the boards. 
Until the Knights will play from the defensive zone. The Rangers look to start the transition game. And that's knocked away by Eichel.